the ability to copy and paste in Windows, it's a feature that's as old as the hills. Control and C to copy, Control and V to paste. But the most frustrating part about this feature in Windows is that it only pastes the last piece of information that you copied. That's up until now. In Windows Now, you can actually store, permanently even store, commonly copied items for later use. Let's show you how this works. Computrain. Welcome. So, as always with these things, we'll do this as quickly as possible because we do respect your time. Now, the as it stands, firstly, we're all familiar with Control and C. Uh, I'm going to copy a couple of pieces of text here just for the purpose of demonstration. Uh, we've got text line one and text line two, so I'll do the same Control and C. If I go to Control and V further down, it's only going to paste the last thing that we copied. We're all familiar with this, it's something we use every day, but we want it to store things. Um, this could be incredibly useful and really speed up your workflow. This is actually a game changer, this, um, in order to speed up your workflow. The ability to have Windows store commonly uh, copied items or to store the last few things that you copied in order to manage things better and speed up your workflow. That's what this is all about. Let's get into settings to enable because in Windows 10, this is not enabled as default. So to get into settings, we type settings down the bottom or you click the start menu and pull up your settings. Now, um, in settings, within settings, we want system. So let's click on that and down the bottom or towards the bottom on the left hand side, we see the word clipboard. Uh, we can simply click on that. Fairly self-explanatory here. We enable the clipboard history. So let's switch that on. If you are signed in across various devices on Windows 10, if you're signed into a Microsoft account on more than one computer, the there will be another slider here which will ask you if you want to sync your clipboard across devices this can be incredibly useful to have something permanently stored even an image or a piece of text that you want to permanently store on your clipboard and you can paste it between devices um, but that's not enabled here on this demo computer we're not signed in on that uh, but anyway that's it enabled so let's get back into our word document now i'm going to to copy separately copy three pieces of text here so text line one text line two and text line three so all i've done there i've selected them one at a time and gone for control and C on the keyboard as we would normally do. And of course, when you enable clipboard history, it doesn't override the standards control and C, control and V. But if you on your keyboard, you, you go for Windows key, the Windows logo key and V, we're going to get a different option here. We get clipboard history. So I want to paste in, I want text line one going in there. Windows key and V, text line two, as you can see what's happening, Windows key and V and text line three, and it goes. So it's stored information. Uh, now, we can bring that up at any time. It's Windows key and V brings up our clipboard history. Now, from within here, there are three little dots. I wonder if I'm able to move that. Um, there are three little dots. I'm going to actually click do the same over here because I want to be able to let you see that on the screen. From these three little dots, we have the option to pin or delete that particular item, clear all, or pin. We'll, we'll demonstrate this now. Uh, it's telling us our clipboard is now empty. Great. Uh, we can close that. It's just a kind of floating thing. Now, uh, we're going to be pasting information from one uh, program to the other from, let's just, uh, for the, dem the purpose of demonstration, uh, assume that this is some sort of web form or something that you're using regularly. Let's take this, uh, it's just a mock email address. I'm going to copy that onto my clipboard and we're going to copy this. Uh, it's not a real phone number. We'll copy that as well. Now, if we go over here, uh, Windows key and V, now you're getting the idea, but what we're going to demonstrate this time is the uh, the ability to pin um, the email address, something that we'll be using regularly. Let's pin that. So we're going to pin it. It's permanently on there now. So we want that in there. Uh, we want the telephone number in there. Windows key and V. 
Uh, it takes a bit of getting used to this because for years we've been using Control and V to paste. Now we're using Windows key and V. Persevere with this. It is, it's a game changer, this. If it's something you're using all the time, this will speed things up for you. So you get the idea with that. Uh, we have the ability to, to pin and unpin things so that they will permanently appear. So let's say the mobile number is something you're using day in, day out, and you're fed up uh, copying it from another source. Pin it. Pin it there. It's there forever, unless you unpin it. Uh, to, to manage things, it's quite self-explanatory. We can go in, click the three little dots at the side. We can unpin that. And of course, we can go further and we can clear all. Uh, when we hit clear all, it will clear all apart from the pinned items. Okay, uh, let's pull up PowerPoint just before we wrap up here. Uh, here we have a couple of images here. We're going to do the same again. I'm just going to right click this time. Uh, we're going to copy and copy. So let's open up uh, in PowerPoint. We're going to go for a new slide. We want a new blank slide. Uh, Windows key and V uh, shows us here. We've got image one that we can paste in there. And it's also saved the other thing on our clipboard. How handy is that? How, how much is that going to speed up your work? And you can use this in, a, in all sorts of different ways. Uh, so there we are, it's, uh, it's copy and paste, the advanced version. Um, so hopefully that's uh, been of use uh, and uh, you find this useful. As always, if you want to subscribe, hit that subscribe button. If you don't, don't. Uh, but uh, we appreciate your time and thank you for watching. Bye for now.